All right, here's a short video of Quigley Park in Fall City. And Fall City's downtown area is right here. It has some cool sculptures, but the main appeal of this really, really tiny park, I mean, you've basically seen the entirety of this park on camera now, is the Snoqualmie River, which runs through here. See if I can get a good view. That is the Snoqualmie River. And it runs all along the park here. Can't really see the video or see the bridge over there. So, what do you think? Good park. Well, I think it's especially interesting that that this uh, that, that little sign over there describes that that uh, this area is one of the two main areas of the the indigenous people, and uh, also what that sign that I just read describes is that. Um, that steamboats back in the 1800s used to, small steamboats and small boats from Everett and Seattle uh, would make their way up to this town, which was at that time called Falls City, ah. as opposed to Falls City, which it's called now. Uh, and they'd bring supplies and take back, you know, like the local products, like bacon. <laughs> or timber, right? <laughs> and no, well, yeah, apples and oh, yeah. good stuff. But yeah, that's really interesting. And the reason that those boats wouldn't go any further up upstream is because yeah. Snoqualmie Falls is up there. Yeah. So I mean, and it just seems like kind of. I mean, when you look at the river down here, it doesn't seem like it's something that would be navigable. But I mean, I suppose if it was a smaller boat, it would be. Hey, there's fish in there. But yeah, they would have to be small boats, small steamboats. I think as parks go, this isn't a very bad park at all. So who are the Quigleys? All I noticed a sign that said... Probably one of the original settlers, or maybe she owned land here, and when, ah. she, um, when she died, maybe she donated it. Who yeah. knows? Who knows? I'm sure there's informational word, wordage that describes it. Yeah. Have kind of a nice like, little waterfront park next to downtown, or uh, part of downtown Fall City. You know what it caught my interest though is this house over here. Check that out. Nice, like this is probably one of the very original homes that's just been really kept up. Unlike probably a lot of them that have fallen to pieces. But I mean, it even has like the little walk on the very top of the house up there. The what do they call it? The widow's walk or something? That is a very neat home. So this is like a little park where there's not a lot of parking. I mean, you're just literally right along the uh, main area. It's a picnic park, basically, where you come have a nice picnic. Learn about some history of Fall City. <clears throat> Stuff like that. Yes. There's the bridge that you cross over to get over here is over there, although it's really difficult to see. And you're, you're whopping amazingly modern facilities to uh, utilize if you need to get rid of some coffee or right there. So right. use with care, people, please. And, uh, <laughs> right. And so actually, Fall City, I didn't know this, I, I didn't know this exactly, but Fall City is like at the confluence of the Snoqualmie River and the Raging River. The <laughs> Raging River. No, 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 I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Um, is that yeah. what they're calling it? So yeah, I guess that's what that bridge is, is spanning. Is ah. where, they, where the Raging River and the Snoqualmie River join. Oh, we'll have to go check that out or something at some point. Anyway, that's like a little video for, for now. Thanks everybody for watching. From Fall City to you, have a great day.